a projector with a beastly sound, and who brings his own gray canvas. Let's get to know him. Intro and let's begin. Digital greetings, everyone. A new projector option arrived in my hands today, is the ZEE MRD1 Pro, an interesting cost-benefit projector, which competes with medium brightness projectors, and you have an option to order it with its gray canvas, for only $8 more. It is the type of projector for the average home, with medium brightness and preferably in the dark, but it is full HD and with good features, which could well rival other projectors in this range. Let's go with its unboxing. Now let's see what this new projector company has sent us. The first thing I see, and what makes the difference, is that when you buy this projector, you can add a reflective gray canvas to your purchase and this one that they have included is 60 inches. It will cost you a few dollars more, but since it is part of a package, it will be cheaper than buying it independently. Inside we find the projector, a 1 meter HDMI cable, a 19 volt and 3.4 amp voltage adapter, a little more powerful than that of the Wanbo T2 Max New, a power cable for the adapter, a remote control that only it is infrared, but it works well in a small installation guide. In addition, it comes with a bag with Velcro patches, which are used to attach the gray canvas to a wall or surface. The projector comes well protected with hard foam blocks, and I can finally reveal the mystery. This is the ZEE MRD1 Pro, as you can see it looks good, and it is made of two-tone black plastic of good quality to the touch, it weighs a little more than one kilo and at least in appearance, it looks good. If we remove this plastic cover, notice that the back half of the projector is made in a glossy finish, unlike the front which appears to be a metal mesh. At the front we have the lens, and a mesh through which the hot air is expelled, on the sides are the speakers, at the top it has a touch on and off button, and this wheel, which is your manual focus control. At the back is the air inlet, and only four connections. The voltage input, an HDMI input, a USB 2.0 input and the infrared receiver of the remote control. While, at the bottom, it has rubber feet in its quarter-inch nut, for any tripod. Tell me honestly in the comments, what do you think of the design of this new projector? It seems to me that it competes with the new Wanbo T2 Max New, because it has many very similar features, as you will see later. The D1 Pro is another projector option for the home, affordable like the ones I have already reviewed here, with the basic functions, but sacrificing some others. The most important thing is that it is full HD, and its brightness is very decent for an average room. In addition, its design with metal grills makes it look more sophisticated, modern and gives it a pro look, as if more expensive than it is. If we look at its specifications, you will notice that they are almost the same as those of the Wanbo T2 Max New in my previous video, except for the automatic corrections, which makes me think that it came out to compete directly with this one. You can buy this projector on AliExpress, and right there you can select the option to buy it alone, with a small tripod or a 60-inch gray canvas. Or you can also buy it on their official ZEEMR website, a little cheaper, with a coupon and free shipping, I leave you the links in the video description. Now comes the good part. Although this time there won't be much to analyze, because believe me, no matter how much I searched and searched for a way to open this D1 Pro, I couldn't find a way to do it, at least not without risking damaging the edges of the plastic box. I know there are brands that are a little more jealous with their technology, but no way, sooner or later I had to come across a device that was difficult to open. It is not impossible to open, but if I force it, I could break it and thus it would be impossible to sell. For my part, I will keep trying and if I can open it without damaging it, I will upload it in a future video. Any normal tripod will be able to hold the D1 Pro projector, since it weighs just over 1 kilo, the important thing is to leave it well secured so that it does not come loose. Then we turn it on, we focus it and we have to choose the language to have the main interface, and as you see it is the same as that of the Wanbo T2 Max New, with the same options menu, because both are Android 9. An advantage in this D1 Pro is that the interface is much more fluid, just look at how fast each tab loads. Of course, the settings option seemed less complete to me, 
In source you can choose the video input. In options there is nothing to select, and in settings is the real menu. From here you can connect to a Wi-Fi network, and you will see that it is truly dual band, since it captures my two Wi-Fi bands, they can connect to other devices via Bluetooth, they can choose the type of projection, front, rear, inverted, etc. If you move the projector from top to bottom, you can do manual vertical adjustment, if you move the projector to the sides, you can do 4-point keystone correction, and they can even do digital zoom from 50 to 100%. You can set the date and time, you can change the language, you can update the device, when there are updates, you can choose the boot source and sleep timer and in about, you can see some specifications of the ZEE MRD1 Pro. The menu is not bad, although the Wanbo T2 Max New is a little more complete, but the D1 Pro is faster and more fluid. The D1 Pro, like most Android projectors, comes with several applications installed, and you can download many more, directly from its App Store, where there are several categories of apps. Like the Wanbo T2 Max New, this is a non-certified Android, but believe me, it performs the function of installing, browsing and running applications very well. I tried some of them, and in my first contact with the ZEE MRD1 Pro, I really liked the images that this projector generates, of course, evaluating based on its price. The resolution is full HD as its specifications say, and the brightness is also good, without being spectacular either, so it is necessary to use it with the lights off, since when you turn them on you lose some quality. When buying a cost-effective projector, you must learn to forgive some details, since that is why you have looked for one with an average price, and to come out at that price, sometimes they sacrifice some features such as automatic corrections, ANSI lumens, resolution, memories, or a combination of them. Only if you buy a really expensive one, you should not forgive it any shortcomings. But despite sacrificing some details, a cost-effective projector looks great for most, and that's why I always say that the average user will be happy to have these images in their living room. Even in the corners the projector maintains focus, which is a good sign. Although the D1 Pro does not have automatic corrections, it does integrate all manual corrections, so we can move it to one side of the room, and although this will distort the image, we can reconstruct it with the 4-point keystone correction, as you are seeing. That's why moving the D1 Pro to any side of the room will not be a problem to have 16 to 9 panoramic images with this projector, which is very useful for many people, who cannot have the projector exactly in front of them. If you want to use your own applications on the D1 Pro, you can connect any device to its HDMI port. I always test projectors with my Fire Stick 4K Max, because I have all my applications installed here, starting with my Netflix profile number 3 that I bought at GAMS GO, and which looks great on this projector. The experience of having your own cinema at home depends on the budget and mainly on people's tastes. That is why I do not pay attention to the criticisms about the quality of the equipment in the comments, because I know very well that there is a projector for each type of person, depending on how much you can pay for it, from $50 to $1,000 or more. But most are looking for a cost-effective projector, something they can afford and are happy to use. If so, the D1 Pro at $220 average fits many pockets, it is true that it sacrifices some things, such as brightness or automatic corrections, but it reinforces others, such as speed and quality, don't order the full package for $220 either. In it you can project all the applications that you connect to its HDMI port, or run the applications that come from the factory, because it is very easy to use, but you can also go to my blog, and from there download and install some APKs to this Android projector. And you will see that the D1 Pro works very well with any APK, in this case I installed Magis TV, but you can install whatever you want, and as you can see, this internet channel application works wonderfully. It looks very good and the best of all is that it does not require external devices, because it can be installed directly on the projector. I leave you the link of the app, in the description of the video. The sound of the D1 Pro is one of its strengths, if not, listen to it from 1 meter away, at 50% volume.
respectable 78 decibels of power are obtained. And now with the volume at maximum. The power comes in at about 83.5 decibels, which is better than average, although with a live movie the power feels much better. Now using the screen test app, I will test some screen parameters for you to see, such as the thin lines and edges in the corners, the contrast between dark and light, the dynamic color pattern it projects, and the image resolution. And in all these aspects, it is very similar to the projector that I reviewed in my previous video. The palette shows nice colors, but with a slight shadow on the sides, which is typical of projectors below 400 ANSI lumens, but not a big problem either. Regarding its maximum brightness, I will measure it 1 meter from the screen and here I will rely on an instrument designed for this. As you can see, almost 400 lux, quite good for home projection purposes. Although the lux are not ANSI lumens. The D1 Pro also has the option to mirror your cell phone screen, both for Android and iPhone, and the truth is that connecting it was very easy. As you can see, I can see all the content of my cell phone directly on my projector and the texts look and read perfectly well, and this function could be very useful on several occasions. To check the transfer speed or if there is delay, I will use this video. Note that the delay between the original video and the duplicate video exists, but it is practically minimal. In my opinion, the duplication is good, without cuts or lag and it could serve very well to transmit any content from our cell phone. The D1 Pro also allows you to connect any Bluetooth device, like this Tronsmart speaker as I will demonstrate. You just have to go to the settings, and search for it in the Bluetooth devices. With this you will increase the power, although the sound quality will depend a lot on your speaker. A good option for this ZEEMR projector is that you can order it either with a small tripod or with a 60-inch gray canvas and as you can see, I chose the gray canvas. Although both sides appear the same, you have to be careful to choose the reflective side and this at first glance is the one that appears darker. I'm going to put it on my white screen using only adhesive tape as something temporary, and you will see that since I turn off the light, you can already see a difference compared to the white screen. You just have to adjust the projection size to start testing it. You will decide which surface this projector looks best on, but for me, the gray canvas enhances the colors and contrast, a demonstration of that is this soccer video that I will put later on a white screen and it doesn't look the same as these images, so then you can come back here and compare. Putting the canvas gray is advisable to exploit the colors of a projector, for example, with a console, you may be able to see a line on the right, but this is because I didn't tension the fabric properly on that side, so it's not a problem. But what is not debatable is that the gray fabric improves the images and that is why I am going to make a small comparison of the images that I showed in minute 9, and you can see the difference for yourself. I always make these types of comparisons transparently so that you can draw your own conclusions, very few channels take the time and trouble to analyze a projector in depth, and that is why it takes me so long to make videos, but little by little I will improve it. Notice that, with the gray canvas, the colors are more vivid and vibrant, even if I turn on the light, the images are better with a gray canvas, at least for me, and each of you will have your own opinion, which I want to read in the comments. So you know, if you buy this projector, also order its gray canvas. The litmus test for this ZEEMR D1 Pro will be to project it on my entire 150-inch screen, that's why I placed it 5 meters away and projected it larger than the screen itself, 
and then adjusted it to the corners, with the four adjustment points. I have to admit it, but I'm surprised that it looks very good, even from 6 meters where my camera is. I don't like to exaggerate the equipment, but the images are quite good and speak for themselves, for a projector of this cost. I will even cross the screen from time to time, so that you can see that they are the projector's own images, and I am not cheating or tricks. Of course it will also depend on how the video was recorded. For example, this soccer video looks a little obscured, perhaps due to its recording process, but in my videos I use a lot of ambient light and because they look well lit, as you see here, you can even see my mole. Even on a giant screen, the details look good and at 6 meters you won't be able to see the pixels, unless you get very close, and no one will get that close, because it won't be comfortable to see. But remember that these projectors are for home use and in the dark. With some light you can also see the video, but in the dark you will get its maximum potential. The D1 Pro from ZEEMR is another good mid-range projector and as you will realize, most of them integrate almost the same thing, the final choice depends on details, such as brightness, appearance, design, etc. But in favor of the D1 Pro, I have to say that it is very quiet in operation, it is one of the quietest I have reviewed and that is an important detail for many. Thank you again my brother for making it to the end, give me your like, Subscribe to my channel and pay attention to the new products and devices that are yet to come. Help me, and let's democratize technology, until the next video.